Hi, I'm Mac Watson. You've heard him for years. You've read him on KTAR.com. Bet you didn't know about KTAR reporter Jim Cross. First wildfire was in 1988 in Idaho. It was a huge fire, hundreds of thousands of acres in Hell's Canyon. Uh, it was called the Eagle Bar Fire. Uh, covered a few fires in Idaho off and on throughout the years. Came to Arizona. Started covering fires seriously here in 2002 with the Rodeo Chetuskai fire, which until this year was the largest fire we'd ever had. I didn't think it was possible we could top that fire. This year we topped it and went miles beyond it. Uh, firefighters, the thing I'll take away from the Wall of Fire is an amazing job to not lose more homes than they did and possibly not have entire cities taken off the map. You had more people evacuated in the Rodeo fire more homes destroyed, but these firefighters really did a good job to save Alpine and Greer specifically. At the Wallow Fire, the closest we got to the fire was on John Wayne's ranch in Eager. And we were feet from it, 20 feet from it. Not just the you know smoke in the trees, not the, the head of the fire. At the Rodeo Fire, the thing I'll always remember is there was a Sunday afternoon where the fire had started closing in on Sholo. And I believe at that time it was 55 stories high, basically a fire tidal wave. Um, they had already evacuated Sholo and were trying to figure out what they were going to do with the media if the fire reached Sholo. And it, it didn't make it in, but it got very, very close. And it, it covered fires and it, it's not, from a reporting standpoint, I haven't been frightened often, but that one scared me. I think I have maybe a little bit better insight into what the firefighters do, having taken the training at Arizona Wildfire Academy in 2004. Um, I can tell you right now from taking that week of training, what they do is incredibly tough, uh, especially some of the, the hotshot crews uh, who are out there, you know, all firefighters, it's all tough. But you've got guys on the side of a mountain digging fire lines 16 hours a day and in heat and smoke and dealing with rattlesnakes and scorpions. So I think it gives me a little bit more insight than most reporters have into what happens behind the scenes.